I don't think I'm live, right? I don't think I'm live. Welcome back to the Off My Meds pod. I'm not sure if this is an episode that I'm going to be posting because I have been fighting with my audio mixer. I was sick for what seems like the entire month of December. And when I tried to get back to filming, I had this audio issue and it's driving me up the wall. But happy new year. Happy new year. 2024. I'm also, I'm, I should be switching back and forth between my cameras because I got sick in the month of December. I had to push back all of my guest interviews. So without notice to any of you, I took December as a hiatus, but we're back and we're just going to have this cocktail hour to talk a little bit about our 2024 intentions i'll probably tell you a little bit about mine i'm presuming that i'm gonna be filming and all of this over again because the audio will be giving me nightmares but for now this is tentative episode is it 204 but a little housekeeping we um i have an email address that i'm gonna drop here if you have any suggestions fun stories or just want life advice in general, go ahead and send me your best emails. Also, I posted a poll on my Instagram where I told people to respond with their favorite songs of 2023. I said they better be bangers. And I made two Spotify playlists based on those responses that I got. So if you're interested in checking it out, top songs of 2023, I made a rock and metal version and then everything else i feel like rock and metal deserves its own kind of vibe which is funny because i know my social media profile makes absolutely no sense one day i'm posting limp biscuit stories and the next i'm posting like burn a boy you know but that's just how i roll i love music i wanted to respond to my frequently asked questions because i also asked for those as well but i think presuming and I don't just reshoot this whole stupid episode I might save it for then I feel like I'm all over the place right now it's definitely podcasting is definitely a muscle that if not used you kind of it's hard to get back into the swing of things especially talking face to face with the camera I guess I don't have to look at the camera but it's a newfound love that I have because as an actor you don't You don't really look at the camera a lot. In fact, you're not supposed to look at the camera a lot. And so through dance, which is you look at the camera, you make love to the camera, you like that's your connecting point is a camera. And once I've kind of gotten comfortable with that, I love it. And it's a new kind of relationship with an art form that, requires some skill that I did not have and I've been working on it. What else? I'm all over the place again. I think I just said that. Oh, my ADHD. That's what I wanted to, I, I, okay. We're going to jump really quick. Sorry. Just, just go with me. Cause I did not have an outline for this. I'm just hoping and praying that the audio on this is okay. And I don't need to modify it too much. If anybody's an audio engineer and would love to give me a assistance, I would greatly appreciate it because customer support chat is not helpful at all. But I did want to share my content manifestations for 2024. And this is what I'm hoping to accomplish. I think as someone with ADHD, it's really hard to not get down on myself for not having meeting all of these goals that I set. And it's a lot. But it's getting better in the sense that I I don't overthink things as much. I'm not as a perfectionist when it comes to just filming and putting up my art because I think the amount of effort I output sometimes is, is unnecessary. And so as I'm learning to be more quick with content creation, editing, and publishing, all this stuff, I'm able to now, I think, branch out into the other areas that I do want to make content on but I guess for such a long time I 
the last I want to say last year no more like the year before and I was kind of coming out of it last year was like when it comes to body image in particular if I I never I didn't post I didn't post for like a good year and a half and it was because I felt so shitty about myself that I had this such great fear that I was going to get shamed. And it's so unreasonable and it's so dumb and it is so stupid. I don't know how I overcame it in the last. I wanted to say I started like posting regularly around the summer again. And I just had a different mindset. And that mindset was I can't focus on comments. I just can't. I will pay attention for a certain amount of time and then I just don't go back to the comment section of that video because for me, I obsess. And if there's one bad comment, I like fall into this weird depressive like mood. And so once I stopped caring about what, what the consensus or the opinion was gonna be, it got so much easier to post shit because I just don't care. And I care a little bit, but for the most part, in terms of me worrying about how it's gonna get a negative reaction, I just don't even think about it anymore because at the end of the day, I know that I'm not hurting anybody. I feel like I've I've done a lot of digging on self-love in the last in the last year. And it's hard, man. Like I, you know, I wanna make one of them. One of the content manifestations I wanted to make was body positive content. And I feel like it gets hard to talk about those things when I'm not even really fully healed from them. But I can definitely talk about my experiences and my experience in the last two years was me absolutely hating how I looked. Uh, but I think part of it has something to do with the fact that I, that it lines up around the time that I started seriously being in LA again, which is a vain town that only makes insecurities worse. But that's one, but body positive content. I also wanna make more ADHD content, but again, it becomes hard for me to come up with content, like come up with a concept, stick with it, execute and then post it but i'm hoping to make more adhd content that is an episode that is coming this month in the next couple of episodes where i talk about things that have helped my adhd in the last year or the last couple of years or lifetime but mainly in the last year because there's a lot in the last year that i've utilized that have become super helpful nothing is a dead answer to curing or making your ADHD life easy, but these definitely help. I'm conflicted on the legal content because I see a lot of, like there's a lot of legal content creators that I see that do their job well. And I'm really, I feel like, did you just swap? Oh no, mom, nugget, nugget. Like lawyers that make legal content, they're, they're very good at being short and concise and sticking to the point there's too much in my head to to know a starting point so if anybody has any questions regarding AD, uh adhd or law related stuff understanding that i'm nobody's lawyer um but just for informational purposes if anybody's interested in that content let me know because until i uh, i'll include it here and there but i know it's not everybody's cup of tea so let me know I'm just going to read you the list and how I wrote it. Content manifestations for 2024. ADHD content to make people feel less alone. Legal content, educate for those who don't know the law. Style content to inspire people to be themselves, my personal favorite. Body positive content, finding your confidence. And food content. I want to start making food content. I love to cook. My dad is an amazing chef. He's going to be a podcast episode this year. If I can get him to just do it with me. And I think some recipes that are fairly easy to do, specifically Middle Eastern recipes. Make awesome, beautiful recipes with a touch of home is what I said. So 
I have some very exciting guests planned for 2024, and I'm very excited. 2023 reflections. 2023 can... It was like the best and worst year of my life. I don't... And I think the only thing distinguishing it from being a good year as a whole and a just like a shit year is my attitude which is totally on me and I think I need to go into 2024 with a better positive mental attitude like when stuff doesn't go my way or stuff is getting hard I need to stop wallowing in the hard and the dark and I need to just keep pulling my head up and pushing forward because that's the only whenever I've done that is always been when I come out on top you know there's a certain kind of millennial part of me that has more empathy and compassion and is not so bent on work product and hustle culture and working yourself to the bone but there is a fine line between letting yourself have space and compassion for yourself and giving yourself grace and then never having a point where you have to like be like, okay, go. And so I'm going to try in 2024 to be better about when I hit a little bit of adversity, just being like, you know what? We felt that before. We're getting up and going. We're going to eliminate some people pleasing tendencies. That one's probably my hardest, my hardest thing I've struggled with my entire life. And it sucks because it's the one thing that gets in the way of me in a happy life. And it's something that's so simple. Like I can just say no. Fuck, I lost the point. Getting yourself up and going. So anyway, that's our little test run. Maybe this will be an episode. If the sound is okay, if you were around in 2023 and you showed me some love, gave me a follow, hit a share button, hit a sub button. Thank you for making my 2023 really fucking amazing. And I got a lot of closure and I got to close the books on a lot of different things that... I never thought I'd be able to say it. I got. And so if you were around and watched and listened or interacted with me, thank you. And I'm excited to see what 2024 is going to bring. I'm really pumped. And I hope you have a great start to your new